Hey there, Aries, what's going on? Aries, thank you guys so much for your time, your energy, your love, your support, positivity, the good vibes. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And I give it right back to you. Aries, we're going to go ahead and go over your, <clears throat> your love messages for the first 10 days of October of 2021. Okay, so this is what spirit either wants you to know about the first 10 days of October in love, or this just actually could be the energy that you're experiencing um, going into that or at whatever point that you're watching this. Okay, so what we'll do is we will pull some Oracle and get an overview. We'll also pull some tarot to go ahead and take a deeper look at it and then We'll pull some oracle to get some advice. All right. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, cross watcher. If you're dealing with an Aquarius and you're here, just take a look at, uh, did I say Aquarius? If you're dealing with an Aries energy um, and you want to take a look and, and, and see what that looks like, then, then this could be your message as well. Excuse me for saying Aquarius. Um, please do not force messages. All right. Okay. Ooh, all right. Okay. So, Aries. Oh, I feel like I want to, I feel like I just want to write a song about this. Like in, in, a song may not even have anything to do with this reading. It may, depending on who you are, but I just want to just write a good old song. <laughs> um, I have pure heart. I have sparks fly. I have the one. I have in love. And I have wings of love. Okay. I also have separate and not now. Okay. I just, um, you know, I see this energy of you making a connection with someone. And it's so deep, right? It's so pure it's so full immaculate okay this person feels like they're the one because you are like having sparks here you're feeling that connection like jolting you alive revitalizing you you know in a way um and so yeah you're kind of swept up by this energy you know this is you're kind of um you're expanding here on this energy here you're beginning to literally take flight and be in love with this person we have in love here. So yeah, this is a beautiful connection that at this time right now, Aries, it may feel a little bit difficult to get off the ground, okay, with not now and separate. Um, I feel like there are moments where the connection between you guys is there and it's of course it's great but then there's a there's something that pulls the other person away or pulls you away i feel like it could be fear based aries okay I feel like it could be fear-based on, 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 on either person's end. Now, there also could be just situations where it's just the timing just doesn't seem fitting here. Um, the situation can't actually make a connect, you know, here. Um, even though you really do have like a high regard for this person and the feeling is mutual. Okay. Okay. 
but for whatever reason, and we're definitely going to pull the tarot why, but for whatever reason, we're going to see why now isn't the right time or why we have this not now energy here. Okay, Aries? So let's go ahead and pull some tarot and see what else we can see for this. You know, looking at this card, even the sparks are like, there's a heart in the middle, but even there's some distance, right, between that. Uh, this is the sparks fly card. So there's still some distance. You could be at a distance from one another, like physically. Okay, we got the Ace of Cups, the Judgment, and the World. Okay, Ace of Cups, the Judgment, and the World. Uh, you know what I'm feeling like? I'm feeling like there's... It, this energy here suggests that like someone wants to take someone places. It's like someone is saying, you know, Aries, you know, I'm in love with you. I have these feelings for you. You know, see it how I see it. Like, and I can, I can take you to these places. I can show you these things, it's things you've never seen before. It's like they're trying to offer you that. Um, and I feel as though there may be a little bit of hesitation on the other person's part. Okay, it's maybe it's just not the right time for you to be making those type of moves. Okay. Um, I mean, and we all have things in our life that we deal with that, you know, when something good comes along, it's like we want to take, we want to participate, but, but I got kids <laughs> or I have, you know, responsibilities, you know, just, I have things that I need to do in this, like with this judgment card here, it's like, you're looking at the situation for what it is. You're taking it like you're taking account of your whole situation here. Like how how is this gonna affect that if you were to give in to this to this energy? Um and the energy isn't bad. Okay, this isn't a bad energy at all. This isn't a bad reading. I just feel as though eh, it's just it's just like, you know. You just have, you have, someone has responsibilities that they're dealing with that they have to consider before, you know, they just completely decide to commit themselves 100% to the situation. That could be you, Aries, or that could be uh, the other person. But you're very much in love with each other. I'm going to clarify some of these cards, but you're very much in love with one another. This person is definitely, this person definitely has that energy of like everything that you want and hope for. Like with that one, that rose, it says the one on it. It's like this person is, this person is the one. Okay. But what they're asking of you and what they're offering you may be a little bit too much, you know, too much for you to deal with. And we got a card to fly out in this one. I will take that because I love when cards fly out. So we got the five of cups. So yeah, this is putting pressure. This is like this, this is like this emotional pressure that you're putting on yourself. Okay. Um, I feel like I feel like this it's it's um uh, it's almost a depressive energy as well, of saying, like, you know, like I just explained earlier, you know, I want to give myself, I want to put, you know, I want to give all of my everything to this ace of cups here. Because that's what it's clarifying. Um, I want to give everything to this Ace of Cups. You know, I want to give in. And I want to accept. But I can't. It's like, 
but it's like you're saying, like, like you know, but I can't accept it exactly how, uh, you know, you want me to accept it. Like, I do have love here for you, you know, with these two cups here standing up. But but if you want it, you know, but it's got to it's got to be this way. You know, it can't be um, all on their terms. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way either. It's just saying, like, listen, you can have me. I, we can have each other. But just understand that I come with other things, you know, that I have to consider. Okay, so it's like while I'm willing to give myself to you, you're going to have to understand I can't, you know, we're just going to have to just compromise. I feel like I feel like this five of cups is a compromise of, a, you know, a compromise even. So let's clarify this judgment card. Let's see what, why this judgment card is here. Okay. So the judgment card is to be clarified by now we have the Ace of Cups out here again. And then also flipping over was the King of Wands. So the judgment card is being clarified by the Ace of Cups, the King of Wands. Again, I feel like this King of Wands energy is sitting on his throne. He's strategizing about the best move that he can make that will make not only him happy or her, but also the other party involved happy. You know, what move can I make that's going to be pleasing to you, but then also, you know, works in line with, you know, how I can make it work. You know, like it's a strategy thing here. So it kind of goes back to what I said before. It's just like, you know, yeah, the want, the want and like this. If, and if, honestly, if this person is the one, before I say this, if this person is the one, then they'll understand, okay? And, you know, uh, but again, there has to be some sort of compromise here, all right? You can have each other, but there's got to be some compromise. They're not, it's not going to be in the way that maybe you would like it to be, you know, it's not going to be the fairy tale type of thing. It's still going to be a great thing, but it's not going to be that fairy tale type of thing because you got to be life. So let's clarify this world here. What is this new energy that you're stepping into? What is this about? Or maybe what is this energy you're closing up? I feel because, you know, the world can be about a beginning or an ending. So, okay. So the world is being clarified by the emperor. Mm. I feel that, uh, and this is also, bit, and this is very much Aries energy. And again, of course, you know, you have the King of Wands being the Aries energy too. But anyways, uh, the Emperor, this is the Emperor in this world card. I feel like you're stepping willingly. Okay. Um, I feel like you are clearly going to be able to come to this compromise, you and this other person. And it's probably going to be more so as where you are going to be kind of having to say, all right, you know, we can be together. I want us to be together, but. You know, I come with this. This is how you're going to have to take me. You know what I mean? And um, I feel like you being able to, like, confidently express that um, is uh, going to be very, very uh, helpful to the situation. It's going to have your other person more inclined to compromise. And like I said, if they're the one, like you both know that you are to one another, okay, then then they will. And I do see that happening. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull some advice for you guys and see how we can move through this energy. What do we need to know while we're dealing with this? What do we need to know while we're dealing with this energy for Aries? This could be the one. <laughs> yeah, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. This could be the one. And we knew that already. We knew that already. And this is just confirmation of it now, Aries, that this is definitely the one. Okay? And I feel like it seems like it's bad timing, but I do think that you guys can make it work. But you are gonna you are probably gonna have to be you know, separate for a while. You might have to be, you know, in different places. But there is 
this ability, this great ability here to compromise. I feel like this this is a compromise of emotions. It's like it's like not getting too caught up in the emotions because look at look at this. You got two ace of cups here. Okay? So the energy and the love for one another is matched. All right? And both of you are kind of feeling it. Both of you, both of you is like, well, it's like both of you are like, well, you know, but I really wanted to be like this and it's like, well, I know I wanted to be like that too, but Hey, I have things, you know, I have responsibilities and you got to get in line with that. And I feel like this is become, this becomes the beginning of a actually really, really beautiful, beautiful relationship, especially with this emperor and this world card. I feel like both of you um, are going to be leading each other into different forms of expansion whether that's new locations, new mindsets, uh, education, etc. Okay, so Aries, um, hit me up in the comment box below, all right? I definitely do appreciate y'all's time. And make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next message. Bye.